We got a few of tonight's Just Price Vinyl Records, and, and they're, they're awesome. awesome! And you know why they're awesome? Why? The man in black! Yeah. The man in black! Yeah! Johnny freaking Cash! Yeah, Johnny Cash! Yeah, I'm so excited! The man in black! The man in black! All right, all right. Did you know he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1992? What? Yeah. Thought he was country. He is. Okay. Yes, he was also inducted into the Country Hall of Fame in 1980. Nice. And yes. that's it? That's it. I know something you don't know. Yes. I know something you don't know. He was also inducted into the Gospel Hall of Fame. Very cool. Yeah. I missed one. Yeah, you missed one. <laughs> it could be because he's a reverend. He was an ordained reverend. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I just stole somebody's fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> and right. Do you know who he studied under to become a who? minister? Hank Snow's son. Very cool. Who is another awesome country musician. All right, all right. What you got? At his daughter's wedding, he was the priest. He said the vows with her. Very cool. So we've got Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. So you know what that means? He was live! He was live! In prison! In prison! All right. And this was his second best-selling album? Yes, yeah, second best-selling album. Ever? Ever. Very cool. And then we've got another Johnny Cash album. What? Oh, wait. It's Elvis. <laughs> but see, it's the Million Dollar Quartet. And okay. it's Elvis and Carl Perkins. And Johnny Cash? And Johnny, and Cash. Johnny Cash. Very cool. And Jerry Lee Lewis. Okay, great balls of fire. Yeah. All right, Ring of Fire, Great Balls of Fire, okay. Lots of fire, they're on fire, fire! All right, all right, I'm catching the theme here. Yeah. Prison and fire. And then we've got Johnny Cash at San Quentin. It was live, it was live! In prison. In prison, In prison. this is his best-selling album. Okay. And San Quentin is also where he did his first prison concert. Excellent. January 1st, 1958. Very cool. All right, all right. And then we've got, hi, I'm Johnny Cash. And could you ever imagine him saying, hi, I'm Johnny Cash? Yes. Hi. Yes. Hi. 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 No. I'm Johnny Cash, and these are my Tennessee two. See? Yeah, it works. <laughs> what you got there? The country roundup. Yep, Johnny Cash's country roundup. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. And did you know his real name when he was born was J.R. Cash? But when he joined the Air Force, Force, which is he enlisted to the Air Force, he had to change his name to John R. Cash. Because they weren't trying to hear his name had initials. Yeah, they, they didn't want that. Mm hmm. And we've got the sound of Johnny Cash. And there were many sounds of Johnny Cash, you know, because he was on all sorts of crossover artists. Yes. Mm hmm. I, th I think he, he had a lot of rock in him. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, there was a lot of country, a lot of, lot of yeah. gospel, but he had a lot of rock in him, too. Absolutely. And we've got Orange Blossom Special. Okay. Very this cool. This one's on Columbia, too, because see who he was originally on, Sun. Did you know Sun was only paying him 3% royalty instead of 5%, which was the industry standard? Sounds about right. Yeah. So after a while, he was like, nah, never mind, I'm going to Columbia. After Elvis left Sun and everything. Back then, a lot of the record labels mm -hmm. were El Cheapo. Yes. 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 Yeah. Extremely El Cheapo. They, they did shady contracts and everything mm -hmm. you could ever possibly imagine. Yeah. But he's one of the only artists that had new releases coming out on two different labels at the same time. Very cool. And then we've got his greatest hits. Ring of Fire. Exactly. And I walked the line. Come on. That, mm -hmm. That's one hell of a greatest hits. Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't you agree? Yes, I completely agree. What else do you know about Johnny Cash? Did you know he had 170 singles and he had 96 albums? What? Yeah, he had a lot of music. Were, were they were they actually his albums? Yes, because they were his. a lot of the times with country music, they'll throw his name on the comp no, album. No, no, no. He was on like 102 compilations. Okay. But he had 96 albums. Holy cow! Mm -hmm. That's a lot of music. That's a lot of music. That record there must have been really long. That's a, <laughs> that's a lifetime. Yeah. Very cool. But see, Johnny Cash and the Tennessee 2, original Golden Hits, Volume 2, on Sun. Excellent. Because they just had so much back material of his that hadn't been released yet that after he left for years, they could still release new material. Oh, yeah. Who wrote Ring of Fire? I don't know. You don't know who wrote Ring of Fire? No, I don't. Wow. <sighs> Do you know who wrote Ring of Fire? No. No um, idea. I'm the smartest man in the room? Yes. For a second? Yes. Holy cow. Hold on, I'm saving her in the moment. <laughs> 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 I 
Actually, I forgot, so I had to remember real quick. <laughs> Anita Carter. She originally wrote it. June's okay. mom. Okay. Yes. Okay. And well, she released it, but she released it as something different. And, you know, she was more right. gospel. And he put a little bit more flair into it. And it was pretty much an instant hit. Well, that's not what Vivian said. Mm. V Vivian said that he gave June or and her mom writing credit for other reasons. Because June was upset, you know, that they got divorced. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, Johnny Cash and the Tennessee 2, Get Rhythm. All right. There you go. That's a song, too. Mm -hmm. What would you think of his movie? I thought it was really good. Walk the Line? Did you, yeah. you enjoy it? Yes. Very what about much. you? I, I, it's, it was kind of weird. I freaking loved it. You know, I, I thought it was kind of weird. You know. It kind of glossed over a lot of stuff. Yeah, but, but, but I'm glad it mentioned, you know... How hard it was on him mm -hmm. making 96 albums. Exactly. I mean, 96 albums, you had to do some drugs. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. So, well, you know, do you know why he ended up getting into so many amphetamines? Why? He lived with Waylon Jennings for a while. They were roommates, and he was already addicted. Well, there you go. So, you know, it could have been a peer pressure thing, too. I'm here. I'm in this record store for 96 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, give me some drugs. I'm done. I quit. <laughs> wow just wow wow just wow but you know i don't do them though he got to say hello i'm johnny cash to a lot of cool people no no it's hi i'm johnny cash no hello he got to say hello I'm... I'm johnny cash to a lot of cool people very cool you know because waylon jennings and you know who is also his neighbor who bob dylan bob dylan was bob johnny dylan. cash's neighbor yeah in woodstock new york what what you got did you know he's also neighbors with roy orbison really yeah in Memphis. Yeah. What the? Uh-huh. Wow, this guy got around. Uh-huh. Isn't that awesome? 20 all-time great recordings. But see, this was released in 1970. So he still had a lot of great stuff to put out. Thankfully, he didn't feel like Billy Joel did about the Greatest Hits album because that was in 1967. He just put his name on everything. Yeah. He just had so many amazing songs. He started writing songs when he was 12. His mom taught him how to play the guitar. Very cool. And I have a fun fact you're going to love. So he, he had a farm, and he had an ostrich on that farm, and one day the ostrich attacked him. What? Yes. He had an ostrich attack? Yes. Him. And it broke a few ribs and internal bleeding. Wow, he stuff. really attacked him. Yeah, and it broke its nose. It, it wasn't like no baby baloney no, attack. No, it like kicked him, and it broke a few ribs. Wow, the ostrich really tried to take Johnny Cash out. Apparently, I guess he was not a fan. But he's the man in black. He's the man in black. Do you know why he's the man in black? Why? Well, originally, when he and the Tennessee Two were performing, they all wore black shirts because it was the only color that they had that matched. But then he said he was wearing black because he was mourning the lives lost in Vietnam, and then he was mourning poor people, and he just liked wearing black. Good. There's been se there's several uh, pictures of him not wearing black, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But once he realized that it was a thing, yeah. he started wearing a lot more black. Yeah, I think it was just more comfortable in black. Absolutely. You know. All right. <laughs> the Johnny Cash Collection, his greatest hits. Volume 62. Yeah. And then Johnny Cash, original <laughs> Golden Hits, Volume 3. Because, see, son just had to keep trying to make money off of him. Nice. Did you know he made a movie? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, about Jesus and uh, his life, and they filmed it in Israel. Mm -hmm. and, it mo and it mostly got shown to uh, church groups. But he says that's his best cinema work. Ah. Yeah. Johnny Cash, A Thing Called Love. And he had a lot of love in his heart. And he like he had did a whole album on the plight of the Native Americans. Okay. And because of his activism, he was adopted into a Native American tribe. Yes. Nice. Very cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash. Johnny Cash and his woman. What you got to say? Did you know he sold 90 million albums worldwide? 90 million? 90 million. Whoa. That's a lot of music. That's a lot of music. That's, That's a lot a, of royalties. Yeah. Not surprised though. He has a ton of albums and singles. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, did you know that he proposed to June Carter on stage in Ontario? I didn't know it was in Ontario, but of course, because it was in the movie. 13 years after they first met. Nice. He had, to woo, he had to woo the garbage out of her. Oh, he really did. He had to clean up his act. They stayed with him for like a whole month to get him clean. Imagine the if I had family. to clean up my act to get married. <laughs> Look, it's another hello of Johnny Cash. Whoa. There you go. I wonder if it's the same song. It's just re it's reissued. it's famous line. Okay, okay. 
Whoa. The greatness of Johnny Cash. The greatness. The greatness. What, what you got? Did you know he grew up on a 20-acre cotton farm? Yes. Yes, yeah. I did. So he was. that's what he did for his first job as well as he was picking cotton. Yeah, and then, and then about his brother and... Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. he was the fourth of seven children. But yeah. we're trying to keep this positive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Johnny Cash, I would like to see you again. Looks like it was live. Mm -hmm. A lot of them look like they were live. Yeah, a lot of them. It wasn't live. We don't know. Okay. You just want to scream at your cat. It was live, live, live. All right, all right. Good. Just get that out of the way. Oh, look at this one. Yep, A Believer Sings the Truth. Is it textured? Yes, yes. it is. And he did do quite a few gospel songs, which was why he was in the Gospel Music Hall of Fame as well. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Very cool. Very shiny. Oh, look, the Baron. Wow. And he's almost holding the pool cue like he would a guitar. Mm-hmm. And he's not wearing all black. No, no he's he got, got white there, white. too. What? Oh, my gosh, it's yeah. weird. It's so weird. What else do you know about Johnny Cash? <laughs> the heat is on. The pressure. <laughs> no, that's not him. I know. That's I hear you. That's not the heat is on. I, I love that song. Though. I have a fun fact. What you got? Did you know he had a fear of snakes and he had a fear of flying on airplanes, which I don't blame him. Airplanes are scary because they're really high up. And snakes are scary, too, because if they bite you, it's going to hurt. And yes. I'm not afraid of a snake biting me. I'm afraid of a snake choking me out. Yeah, I can be a fear, too. I really want to hold one one day. Mm. Like, go outside, catch a gardener snake. Don't say that. You, you know somebody who's going to be watching this probably has, like, a snake farm. And they'll have it right He'll come there. I'll be like, oh, yeah. He'll pull one out of his pocket. Ah! <laughs> I'll be like, here, hold the rat. <laughs> so, did you know that Johnny nice. Cash was nominated for 35 Grammys and won 13 of them? Really? Mm-hmm. That's the record store they released? Mm-hmm. Still had some of these, huh? Yeah. Just like one or two. Okay. Whoa, what's this one? Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, that's that's obviously a... It's a reissue, yes. 180 gram vinyl, American 2, Unchained. What you got? Did you know he's bought he bought his first guitar while deployed in Germany? Because he was in the Air Force, but he yeah, bought his first guitar for five dollars. Five dollars? Yes, and he joined well, the band while in the Air Force. Okay. And he was friendly with many, many presidents, starting with Richard Nixon. And the songs that were requested of him to sing at the White House the first time with Richard Nixon, he didn't do any of them. He claimed because he didn't know them. Okay. And did you know he was friends with Ozzy Osbourne? No way. Yeah, they met while in rehab. Mmm, and we have really, <laughs> really, and did and did you know, Johnny Cash is the man in black? Yes. And Ring of Fire. Mm -hmm. And Ring of Fire hit number one on the country chart, and it got into the top twenty on the pop chart at the same time. It's also awesome. good crossover. fun fact. Crossover. <sighs> Absolutely. So obviously, June Carter was straightened his ass out such a major part of his life that he could barely survive without her because four months after she passed so did he oh well he did at the very end of his life he did do that uh remake mm -hmm. of hurt yeah he from did. nine inch nails he did yeah. a lot of rock which covers. that also hit the billboard charts but mm -hmm. i don't know what number yeah. and originally they weren't too happy about that because it was a very touching song to nine inch nails but once they seen once they heard it they really liked it he did it justice he yes really did. All right, you got some other stuff in this box? Yeah, and it's awesome, because look, I got John Entwistle. Whoa. And Eric, Eric Clapton. Clapton. Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. The Beach Boys. America. I've uh, been through the desert on horse with no name. We're over 10 minutes, so we can do whatever we want now. Song. ELO. That's a lot of fun facts. <laughs> Mike Oldfeld. Pentacle. Pentacle? Pentacle. Cool like pentagram? Sister. Pentacle, no. Pentacle. <sighs> uh, Dave Grisham. Passport. Where are you going? Whales? Yeah. She wants to go catch a whale. <laughs> Jethro Tull, Joni Mitchell, Simon Garfunkel, Led Zeppelin, and more Led Zeppelin, and more Led Zeppelin. You could go wiki wiki woo! Wiki, wiki, woo. <laughs> David LaFlame, Led Zeppelin. Led what Zeppelin. variant is it? You didn't even tell him what D. variant it was. It's D. It's Wait, D. Why are you trying to blow through this D. video? It's a D. All right, all right. And it's in really beautiful shape. It's a D? It's a D. All right. Led Zeppelin, Gladys Knight and the Pips, and another one. I always, you know, when I was younger, I always thought that was Gladys Knight and the Pimps. Uh huh, me too. <laughs> Seriously? Me too. I, I'm just saying, yeah, I mean, yeah. sorry out there. Moms and Papas. What's that song? Your mom is in the Papa song. What are you doing? You're California dreaming on such a winter 
Thursday. I bet you Johnny Cash covered it. Oh, well, probably. <laughs> the Monkey Time. It's Captain Kings and the Monkey Timers. <laughs> the Moms and the Papas. Queen. Wham. What? Wham. What? Wham. Huh? Muddy, Muddy Waters. Waters. Ooh, 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 it's the Yardbirds, and guess what? 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 It's an import from Canada, and guess what? 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 Oh, it's clear. It's Whoa. clear, they stole the color. That's unusual. Right? Isn't that weird? Yeah, the fact that you smuggled it from Canada? Nuh-uh. And well, Mr. Cameraman uh, number two was just right around Canada? Yeah. Mmm, I'm seeing the coincidences here, aren't mm, you? Yes. The conspiracies. So I've got Queen. Bicycle. No. Oh, no, that's the first one. I got Queen. White label promo, radio copy. Whoa. So it doesn't even say not for sale. That's a little mm -hmm. tough to come by. I'm pretty excited. Queen. And look, I can go wiki, wiki, woo. What? Wiki, 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 woo. Wiki, wiki, woo. Excellent. Towns Van Zandt, 180 gram reissue. And Steve Earle and the Dukes is another 100 gram. Did you lift gram. that up? That's a fun cover. Isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, look, they're making out. I'm telling Oh, Whoa! Maybe I shouldn't have pointed. No, that no, out. no! It's okay. It's okay. We're just we're, we're admiring the artwork. <laughs> Billy Cobham is a 180 gram reissue. Radiohead. Also. That's the one with my favorite song ever. I think on it. What is it? Creep. Is Creep on this one? No, no. Bones. Darn it! Well, whatever. Phil Kagi. New Grass. New Grass. The Chieftains Nine. Ahmed Jamal. Pat Metheny Group. And another one. And another one. Another one bites for those. Joni Mitchell. Lindsay Buckingham. Who? Lindsay Buckingham. With the hottest daughter ever. <laughs> hey, she's old. I'm allowed to say it. The fair lady. She's even older. <laughs> Ballet of Folk or Rico uh -huh. in Mexico. Hiding out. Credence. 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 And what? This one is also an import from Canada. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Stop. Did you enlist people to smuggle? Never do that. Man, they're gonna get you with the Rico. You got another credence? That's right. The Beach Boys. She got mob ties to smugglers. <laughs> the birds. Jimmy Buffett. More Jimmy Buffett. Beach Boys. Hey, there's your favorite one. Little Deuce Coop. Right? Mm -hmm. Elvis. He's in the freaking building. Mm hmm. Legendary con concert performance. He's live. He was live. And you just banged your arm. Almost. <laughs> Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Oh, oh, oh! Cheese Another control. one? Yup. have it? Yeah. What are you going to do with that thing? I have no idea. Wow. It's really big. All right, all right. What? You're going to lick them, huh? No, I am not going to lick them. I don't know. I just say whatever comes to my mind after 10 minutes. All right, fair enough. If I got to stay, it's, no at, here it's at like 18 yeah, minutes. There's no it. way. There is no way anybody is going to actually watch they this thing. There might be like one person, but. There's going to be one or two, which we appreciate them. They're like actually hardcore, mm -hmm. cool people, right? Mm -hmm. I'm curious if Fernanda watches till the end. Yeah, yeah, I'm curious too. We should talk for another 20 minutes though and like oh, really mess totally. his head up. We need a poll. All right, pick out your favorite Johnny Cash album. You got okay. enough of them there. Okay. Now, she just took in this game, right? Called Reminiscing. A game for people over 30 and the younger people they let play. It's from 19, the 1940s through the 1990s. I didn't tell you, but she is like the champion of Trivial Pursuit. Mm -hmm. So I would get my butt whooped, and I don't think you could, would even stand a chance. We forgot a Johnny Cash fun fact. What's that? Johnny Cash's birthday. Oh, yeah, that's my fun fact. I forgot that one. <laughs> Did you know I share a birthday with Johnny freaking Cash? That's awesome. That's right. That's right. February 26th is his birthday. February 26th is my birthday. He was just a tiny bit older than me. I think it was more, a lot more than a tiny bit. But tiny bit more. Tiny bit. All right, all right. So so what you got? Favorite favorite Johnny Cash album? Johnny Cash at San Quentin. He was live! He was live! In prison! In prison. What you pick? I oh. Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. So he was live! He was live! In prison! This is like a battle for the Titans. But this one... Is the one that starts with Folsom Prison Blues. Nice. All right, so on top of screen, it'll be nice. Click that sucker and vote for either her live at San Quentin live. or her live at Folsom Prison. Live, live, it's live, live. It matches my makeup.
this one. So now you gotta leave us a comment and let us know what your favorite mark in this box is. We got some really awesome stuff. You gotta give us a like, a big old thumbs up, because everybody likes a thumbs up, because when you do good, you get good. And you gotta head over to our eBay store, Spin Me Around store, because a whole bunch of new cassette auctions went up, and you can still get yourself a t-shirt. There's cassette demos. Oh yes, cassette demos. and. These uh, are hard to find, suckers. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. And, and then you don't gotta do nothing, right? And then you have to... Subscribe! 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 Ring, Ring that, that bell! bell. Ding, 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 ding! Because we do a video like this every night, and we'll see you tomorrow! We're over 20 minutes! Are we really? I bet you nobody's watching! Wow! wow. So I could go... <laughs> and nobody's seen it! You see? You got no witnesses after 20 minutes! I smacked my butt into a shelf. <laughs> You're okay. Nobody knows nothing. 20 minutes? We can't get them to watch 10. They're not watching 20. Although they might just skip to the end. They might. Show off some Elvis, man. Since you oh, have a couple I, Elvis yes, I in got there. got the album I was looking for by him. Huh? I got the album I was looking for by him. By Elvis? Yeah, by which, Elvis. Which, which, which? Blue Hawaii. It says King of Fallen Love on it. Blue Hawaii? Yeah, Blue Hawaii. Was it, was it the uh, blue version? No, it was the uh, original. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we bought a lot of stuff this weekend. A lot, a lot yeah, of cool stuff. A lot of Elvis. You know what I was thinking of when I asked you if it was the blue version? If it was that one. Yeah, but we also have the 180 gram blue version of it. Ah, okay. $32. Yeah, we got we bought a lot of Elvis this weekend too. So maybe we'll do Elvis fun facts. <laughs> so it's all good. Why is everyone tickling me today? I'm leaving. Bye-bye. Well, this is weird because you're on that side and you're on that side. Aliens. <laughs>